Hey, what's up, gang? It's Terothra here, and today we're going to do something just a little bit different. This is RPG Maker MV. As you can tell from the name, it's used to make RPGs. Something I like to dabble in on the side. Been a big Final Fantasy fan ever since I was a kid, and so the thought of making a game of my own always appealed to me. I play around with this when I have some time. Not that I have a whole heck of a lot of that lately, but, you know, that's beside the point. I was browsing some YouTube videos online, and I saw a question from a guy named Driftwood Gaming asking if there's a way to create a skill that repeats itself uh, based on a variable. So, like, if there's a variable with a value of 2, uh, the skill will do its effect twice. If it's 3, 3 times, so on and so forth. And I've actually made a skill uh, like that, and I just want to show that off, and then I will show you how... I went about making that. So let's fight something weak here. Let's fight uh, these. Sure, this is Blaine. This is my pyromancer. He throws fireballs. As he throws fireballs, he throws even more fireballs. And let me show you how that works here. So his base skill, they put fire, does fire damage, gives him a stack of something called Hot Streak. This is going to be our variable in this case. And I do a lot of different things with that variable. It reduces MP cost, increases his agility, and his ATB speed and it stacks up to five times. So, when we cast this, boom, does a little bit of damage, and now I start with 10% of a bar, instead of empty like I started the battle with. And then, as you can see, it dropped my MP cost by 10%. This one went down by one, this one went down by five. This is gonna be our spell that repeats itself based on the value of Hot Streak, so it spends all Hot Streak stacks until one fireball for each stack. So just for demonstration purposes, if I were to cast this right now, I only have one stack of hot streak, it throws one fireball. Not really worth it. I could have just thrown, you know, a, a normal fireball. But let's say I go for three stacks of hot streak and then I cast this. So this is one. Here's number two. Start with 20% of a bar now. And for number three. And as you see this time, we'll start with 30% of a bar. And let's cast Fireball Barrage again. Now, as you can see, we got three Fireballs now. I have the maximum set to 5, but I am going to run out of MP here, so let me fix that. Blaine has a skill called cooldown that he can also use his hot streak stacks on to restore his MP. So let's build this up as much as I can. As you can see, I can no longer afford Fireball Barrage. It costs 40 at this point. It's going to cost 35, which obviously I still can't afford. So let's spend another 7. This thing should survive. I gave it 4,500 hit points, so. Which should be enough for our demonstration purposes. We'll go all the way up to 5. Alright, so. Boom. There we go. So let's get some MP back. And that. And let's make sure if this is going to be enough. I need 25 MP for the barrage afterwards. Yeah, we'll be fine. So that's two. And as you can see, he just gets faster and faster and faster. In fact, uh, there's, it'll eventually get to the point where, in fact, he's already at that point. So his ATB bar should charge before the attack. No, not quite. He's getting there. In five stacks, he would actually be able to beat that. And so sometimes what he can do is that he'll be able to guard in between the attacks of the enemy if he's you know, sufficiently faster though. Not necessary here, but it's a cool little trick. Alright, so we have five stacks of fireball barrage now. Let's fire all five at this guy now. And so this time, as you can see, that was five stacks. 
So we got five fireballs. And yeah, here's what you can see. We were able to beat him back. And so sometimes he'll just guard. But anyway, let me show you exactly how I made that. Uh, we'll need a few scripts to make this happen. Uh, all of them from Yanfly. Yanfly.moe, great guy. Check out his site. Awesome stuff. Uh, so the first thing that we did to make this work is we're going to use his base troop events plugin. And what this does is it allows you to set one particular troop, put events in that, and then have those events apply to all battles. And it's pretty cool. Uh, so the first thing we did is we need to actually start, we need to declare and start the hot streak counter. Otherwise, it won't work. So we do this at the start of battle. So we're saying at turn zero, do this once a battle. So this is at the very, very start of battle. Call the common event, start a battle. What does start a battle do? Well, start a battle calls a common event called reset hot streak. Now, the reason I did this is that when I create more characters who have other, you know, variables, things that need to be reset at the start of combat, I can just plug it in here and not have to call a billion events. I can just do it with this one. So what reset hot streak does is this is going to initialize our variable. So control variables. Uh, pick a variable for your hot streak counter. In my case, I can use one labeled at hot streak counter. Okay, set that to zero. And what these states are is that these are states that control the agility buff uh, portion. I don't have icons for them yet, but uh, working on it, as you can see, it's just 5% agility a piece. Take those all off whenever we reset the hot streak. All right, so to build hot streak, we were to build up our variable, we are using this skill, fire. So it deals damage, gives a little MP, and it calls a common event called hot streak. So let's see what that does. Hot streak says if variable one, this is a conditional branch, okay? If hot streak counter is less than five, increase the hot streak counter by one. So this is what's setting our maximum hot streak. So hot streak counter will never go above five with this here, okay? And then what these other conditional branches do is say if the hot streak counter is one, go ahead and apply the stage one hot streak state, you know? And so with this one here, you'll say change state, Blaine, add, and then you go down to your state, and boom, there you go. And then when you increase it, you remove your old one, you add your new one. Um, if he's already, for the maximum one, if he already has hot streak five, and for this one, this is a create else branch in here too. If he's already affected by hot streak five, he doesn't need the hot streak five state, so don't do anything in that case. Otherwise, take off the stage four and add the stage five. Pretty simple stuff there. So if we go to use it, this is our skill Fireball Barrage. This is going to be the skill that repeats itself based on the number of stacks of hot streak. Uh, in order to do to use this skill to make the repeating part happen, you're going to need uh, Yanfly's Battle Core uh, engine, and you're going to need uh, Action Sequences Pack 1 to go with it. In fact, just go get all the Yanfly scripts, because, they're, again, they're, ju they're just awesome. Uh, for the other parts of the Fire skill, by the way, uh, for the Custom MP cost, you'll need the Skill Core. And for uh, the ATB evaluation part, the one that sets the ATB based on these stacks of hot streak, you're going to need uh, Yanfly's uh, battle core and uh, ATB uh, scripts, obviously, to do that. So for Fireball Barrage, again, for the cost, we're using the skill core here. If you want to uh, do the part where he says we're burning, uh, it gives bonus damage, you need the damage core for that. And so here's where the magic happens. This is what makes the skill repeat a number of times based on the value of hot streak. So here's your action sequence. So it's under target action since we're affecting only one target with this. Now, I'm not going to call my common event here to reset hot streak. Even though I do have one, I'm not going to call on it. Uh, the reason is because I'm going to actually decrement the variable as the skill repeats to control how many times it repeats. So take off all the hot streak stacks, and then we'll perform action, uh, wait for the user to finish the motion, and then here we go. This this is it right here. If this is dollar sign game variables capital on the vari on v for variables dot value. This is lowercase on value one. Now this is the same value as our hot streak counter. So 
Whatever your variable is, you need to change this one here to whatever number your variable is, is greater than zero. Then we're gonna decrement that same variable, change variable, again, use the number of the variable, by one. This is what you need uh, action sequences pack one for, because this won't work otherwise. Uh, action animation, wait for animation, action effect, and then death break, just in case, you know, we died a magic reflection here. And then you'll close off uh, this if branch. And then all we do from here is that we're just going to copy and paste this down till we have the maximum number of times. In our case, it's five. So we've got one here. So we'll just copy and paste this four more times. One, two, three, four more times. And then we close off the target action. And there you have it. That's a skill that repeats itself based on the value of a variable. So if you like this, uh, go ahead and give us a thumb up. Leave me a comment saying, uh, you know, you like this, you want to see more. So uh, thanks for watching this, and I will see you guys later.